Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this end credit scene in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so in order to create the end scene or end credit scene, we'll have to first create a new item called black video. So we'll have this black video here that acts as the last scene and I'll drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So I'll, I want my end credit scene to be for like 15 seconds so I'll drag this until 15 seconds and on the top of that we'll be adding some text here so in order to do that click on this T button here so that you select the type tool and simply click on the video just like this so that a layer is created on the top and I have uh, some my text here let me just select this copy this and simply paste it here so I have my text ready here so uh, now I'll go to the essential graphics panel here that you have on the top if you don't find this essential graphics simply go to window and ensure that essential graphics is checked so now I'll go to the edit menu here and what I'll be doing is I'll I'll change the you know the font here I want this particular thing I'll select the entire thing here and I'll change the font from bold to regular and I'll change the font size as well to 50 let me also center this like this and I'll select my selection tool and just move this to the center like this I also want to give a space here so I'll add one line here perfect now I'll click somewhere outside here and I'll simply check this button you know you have roll here and I'll simply check this button here so that this will now start acting as an end screen and it rolls from bottom to top just like this so you can also notice that this particular section is not formatted properly so what I can do is I can make use of this scroll bar here to edit text in my end credits now I'll select this particular thing here and I'll change this to regular and the 50 font like this you can also remove the additional V that created here so the duration of this um, this end credits rolling depends on the size of uh, depends on the length of this video here so if i want this this text to roll for five seconds i'll simply adjust this size uh, this length here so since i want it to be 15 seconds i'll just increase this and you can notice the difference in speed now my text is rolling you know much slower since the length of this layer is 15 seconds also you have couple of options here so the if you check the start off screen the the credits start rolling from bottom and if it's unchecked you can see that it starts from the from the top here from where the layer is created so it is always advisable to ensure that the start off screen and end off screen are checked also you have multiple options here you have pre-roll here and if I set this pre-roll value to two, se 2 seconds what happens is when I start playing the video the end credits will start after 2 seconds and the, the post roll is, is the same thing as the vice versa and uh, if you set this to 2 seconds you know this entire text rolls up to the top and will have an empty background for two seconds after the video is finished you also have ease in and ease out options that you can 
you can try out so this is how you generate a you know a cool looking or the traditional um, end scene or post credits you know end scene not the post credits so this is how you generate a traditional um, you know end credits scene using Adobe Premiere Pro in a very simple way I hope you like this video and if that's the case you can give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.